come up for later at night You know we'll be alright I'll stay here by your side Can call me anytime Those days where you feel blue You know I got you Those moments have for us too You know that I'll come through You know that I'll Okay, we're headed out I am going to pick up Brenda um, I think this is the first like full video Where you can see my hair My new hair if you didn't watch my last video, surprise, I am blonde. I'm headed out to pick up Brenda. We're gonna go have a cute little Saturday date. Ooh. Um, there's a few like clothing pop-ups that we wanted to check out in Seattle today. So we're gonna go see what's going on at those. I'm already running late and we have to go pick her up, so let's go. Look who it is. It's me, <laughs> my only friend. <laughs> A lot of you guys give me shit that Brenda's my only friend. Let me just make this straight. She yes. is. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to use this footage because there's music playing in the background and there's also sounds right here, but... Okay, so we've got an Earl Grey tea cake. Perfect. That one's like orange. Ooh, that's good though. to talk to you guys about these jeans that I'm wearing today. They are from Cotton and today's video is in partnership with them. If you at all recognize these jeans, they are the anti-fit jeans. Talked about them in my previous partnership with Cotton. I love them so much. I wanted to get them in another color. They're really nice and high-waisted, so they're very comfortable. Also, the leg is nice and loose especially at the butt area. If you're looking for the perfect pair of denim jeans to go for your spring outfits or summer outfits, honestly, the anti-fit denim is the one for you. It's unisex. It really fits well on absolutely anybody. And I love that it's very inclusive in the sizing. And if you want like a longer fit, a shorter fit, a wider fit, and but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new favorite cotton jeans.
changed because I want it to be a little bit more cozy and also because today is a cozy day today we're not going outside like that was kind of the only outing I'm gonna go get groceries later probably I was out and about all day yesterday so I need a day in to just like do what I need to do to get ready for the week and also if you're not used to my hair yet trust me neither am I I'm still debating whether or not I'm keeping it I just don't know if like it fits my identity so I've been doing some thinking a lot of thinking and I haven't really shared my thoughts and a lot of my thinking is about the fact that I don't really share my thoughts but let me explain so I started thinking about just overall how I've changed since I started YouTube and how this job has impacted me and it's impacted me in a lot of ways a lot of very positive ways but also it has made me feel like every few weeks I need to change up who I am. I need to make myself more interesting. I need to do more interesting things or I need to do something unique and different every time I make a video. And the internet has sped up this thinking and this overthinking about not just the content that I put out, but of myself because the content I put out is reflective of myself and what I do. Also because I started the podcast with Yoni and we have a weekly episode where we talk about our thoughts whatever they are, or we dissect a specific topic, I share that side of myself on the podcast and I no longer share that side of myself on here. And I don't talk to you guys about advice or feelings or uh, my relationship even, or friendships. I just kinda, it's a more of a visual diary of the day-to-day -day life and I enjoy doing those and it's fun. I've divided myself into little parts that I give to YouTube and then that I give to the podcast and then keeping for myself and my relationship. Big part of it was that I started over indexing on what I think people want to see and what I think people on YouTube and on the internet are interested in. The type of content, the type of person, the type of lifestyle, I was over analyzing and using the idea of like what I think other people want from me as a content creator. I was overthinking what I should do in each video and if I wanted to do something I would think but do people want to see that? Is that even interesting? For a long time I was just telling myself like oh people don't want to just see me sit and talk to the camera. Most people want this romanticization of my life in a way. I never really nurtured the actual emotional connection and personality connection that you guys have with me as a person rather than my life and my lifestyle and the things that I do. That's what I've been thinking about and I wanted to share that with you. It started to feel like a big elephant in the room for me whenever I turn on the camera. I just want to be more real. I want to be more real, not that I wasn't, but I know that there's a side of me that I haven't been sharing. So I think we can balance it out a little bit more and um, share things with you guys a little bit more. So that said, um, I am going to finish this coffee and my little croissant and then probably start cleaning up a little bit. We have to record the podcast. So just kind of like do laundry, get some groceries, things like that, you know, just the adult stuff. I hope that you enjoyed our little talk. We needed a little a little catch up like this. So thanks for listening. I'll finish this song. Tell me once, one last time. How to read, how to rhyme. Tell me what So I've just been like cleaning and doing a bunch of house chores um, and now it's time to get ready for the pod. Every time we record, we have to basically switch around our whole living room. That in itself is a whole 
process that takes like 30 minutes just to set up and then we record. We have a running list of episodes and topics. When it comes to recording day, we just decide what we're in the mood for to like talk about. Then other times we don't really feel like talking about anything that's on the list. But then we try to think about something that's been like reoccurring during the week in our life. Just choosing topics sometimes it's not really like a perfect process and sometimes sorry <laughs> and sometimes it feels are you guys <laughs> not you and your gear if you know this team shout out to psg it's my favorite team oh wow my legs hurt Oof. okay old man <laughs> <laughs> you just came in here because you wanted to show people your your outfit i just wanted to show people my outfit alia loves when i wear this it's just so extra that you wear that I was at Whole Foods and everyone was like, nice outfit. I was like, it's not an outfit. <laughs> I also need to decide what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm really having a bad hair day today. Like it's one of those days where I'm just like, we're going back to black. Or not black, brunette. You're not, you're not, you're not Swedish. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not Swedish? Oh. Yes. I just wanted to walk you through a few of the other pieces I got from Cotton. This is from their spring collection. Same pants that I was wearing earlier, the women's rib pants. I love these. I got them in a small so they would be extra comfortable. I love how long they are. And I'm wearing it with their matching ribbed tank. And I can't wait until it's actually warm enough out for me to wear this outfit. And I would definitely wear it with like some fun orange Adidas. Um, I love a colorful shoe. Okay, and the last piece I wanted to show you is the unisex flow shirt in dusty violet. It hasn't been warm enough yet for me to wear it, so that's why it's a little wrinkly. So go get some drinks or go for a walk or you know run errands. I think like this is such a casual but put together outfit. Also wanted to mention that a big reason why I love cotton a lot and their ethos and their clothing is because they give back to their communities in Egypt and they help build up rural areas as well as schools which is so great and so powerful and um, forward thinking. They really care about creating pieces that will last a very long time, but they're also made sustainably and they're made with biodegradable materials. And they were actually voted as best for the world in community by the B Corporation, which is huge and it speaks volumes to the kind of company that they are. And on top of the fact that they make awesome clothing, I mean, the spring collection is amazing and I'm so looking forward to just seeing what else they come out with. But but I really love them as a clothing brand. It's honestly such a great partnership to be a part of. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these pieces and um, now we'll get back to it. Okay, so I decided we're going slicked hair. This is the first time I'm doing this with the blonde hair, but I think I can do it because you can see, like this if you could- side? The other side. I'm gonna do this. What does that do? It's, uh, it's hair wax. I love your pants, dude. So that you can just like really slick that hair, like all these little flyaways. Goodbye. But yeah, I've been really um, into doing my hair slicked back or more like, you know, like a low bun situation, which also I gotta fix this bun. But um, yeah, it wasn't really a thing that I thought I would look like, that I would look good with before because I don't know, that's just what I thought. And then one day I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. And it was a vibe. right now but I we just finished recording and I'm headed to Trader Joe's to get some groceries because we don't really have a lot of stuff at home I don't really have anything to make for dinner I'm kind of thinking Korean so I might grab some of those um, short ribs I'm really craving that tonight and uh, it's been kind of an up and down day like when I was talking to you guys earlier I was feeling a little not emotional but like you know I was being really honest and vulnerable. Also, we have another busy week ahead for us. Tomorrow, next week, we're launching the totes. We're doing a lot. 
So I wanna not have to do, not have to worry about groceries or any of that. So headed to the store, I'm gonna grab the essentials. Then Yoni's mom and his sister are actually gonna come over and hang out for a little bit. And yeah, and then have to finish editing a video. Hopefully I'll finish that and make the thumbnail and then go to bed because I'm like really anxious right now. So I need some good food. put back on my um, cotton pants. I wanted to just quickly show you everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Simple basic things, but you know, Moroccan green tea, Moroccan mint green tea, refill of cooking olive oil. I also have this Graza drizzle extra virgin olive oil. This is only to drizzle, not to cook with. Very important. Got some Persian cucumbers. I'm gonna use these for dinner later, as in like five minutes from now. We've got some organic asparagus, asparagus, goat cheese, baby bell cheese. Like rediscovered them. We used to eat them when we were kids, right? You had them when you were a kid. Oh damn, yeah. Yeah, I got them. We used to we used to call it la vache kiri. La vache kiri. Oh no, actually la vache kiri is something else. But the, the laughing cow. Oh, the little triangle yeah, cheese? Yeah, oh, yeah. I used to love those. Shout out to La Vache Kiri. Shout out to La Vache Kiri. Or uh, we would call it uh, Brenza Topita. Brenza Topita. Thai shrimp gyoza. Avocado. Little kombucha. I've been having some like stomach issues, so I feel like I need that extra fermentation. Okay, TMI. Why is it TMI? I've been having stomach, stomach issues. Doesn't mean when food. someone says I have stomach issues, it also it makes a person think, okay, what else? Like, no, what else I'm is thinking you've been like bloated. I'm but not then, immediately but then you... <laughs> I mean, everybody takes a poop. Uh, raspberries, big pack. What I actually went to Trader Joe's for for dinner. Oh my God, yo. Yoni hates these. No, and I, it's so good. weird to me that you don't like them. Okay, we got. I got two of these because we also get through these really fast because Yoni eats like one by himself. Eat hot and sweet jalapeno. Oh. Also, these with goat cheese sounds weird, but trust. And chicken. Got to make some rice. Got to put those short ribs on the grill. There's no grill, but on the pan. Always gotta wash that rice. Babe, can you get this big bowl for me? Can you get the big bowl? This one's not real. Right now it's too close. I just changed into 
the comfiest of comfiest clothes. I'm gonna sit down and edit. I need to finish this video. I was supposed to post it today. I have to post it tomorrow. I gotta record a voiceover. I gotta make the thumbnail. Lots to do. It is seven, you can't see it, but it's 7.30 right now, Sunday. But we gotta do some work. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work and I'm probably gonna be here until I go to bed. Skin.